So we just wanted to talk about something that happened today at the survival compound. We had a situation where uh, one of our babies had a seizure. He was running the fever and uh, he was given medicine. He was given ibuprofen and his fever spiked before the medicine kicked in and he had a seizure and he was rushed to the hospital. Uh, EMS, the ambulance came and uh, they ended up rushing him to the hospital and everything worked out okay. But I guess the reason I'm wanting to talk about this is it, uh, not that we uh, haven't thought about it plenty in the past, but it, it was a, re it was a, reminder. a sober, scary reminder uh, of the need for being prepared in, a, in any given situation. Now, did say we didn't have an ambulance, we didn't have EMS, we didn't have a vehicle, would we, would we have the knowledge to handle a seizure? Uh, would we have medications on hand for fever, which you've got what, your Tylenol, your Motrin, your uh, ibuprofen. Um, essential oils or tinctures yeah, or anything. Uh, my wife is into the e essential oils and homeopathic Pathic. remedies. Sure. <laughs> and so it made us wonder, what did we do right? What did we do wrong? Could we have done anything any different that would have affected the outcome? Although he was fine, he was pretty cut and dry. Call the ambulance, ambulance comes, take him to the hospital. Um, However, he had already had the medication before the seizure started, so had it been where he hadn't had the medication yet, I'm not so sure how long it could have lasted, if it would have had more detrimental effects or... Uh, and so what do we really know other than, you know, you hear what to do when someone's having a seizure. You clear the room or you clear the area, uh, depending on if they're thrashing or uh, what else do you do. Uh, you, he was laying on his back when you laid him down he was and laying he began on his back. to choke from his like the spit was building up, I think, in his mouth, like the yeah, drool. Yeah, he was kind of drooling as he was having a seizure, and he started gasping more. He was gasping and and <clears throat> began to choke. the The lady that was on the phone with my wife had said to keep him on his back till the seizure stops. Well, he began to choke on his own uh, spit. Spit, I guess you could say. And so she turned him o over and got all that out of his mouth. Just on his side. Not on his side. Yeah. And he was fine. So I guess you have to react to the given situation. And so when they took him to the hospital, um, he was more, for lack of a better term, exhausted. Exhausted and dead weight. He couldn't even hold his head up when you picked him up. Yeah. And everything was just hanging there. And he felt, he felt quite a bit heavier than, than he is just because it was dead weight. He was that exhausted um, from the seizure. First time, first time he ever had a seizure, yes? Yep. Uh, I guess I could say that um, given that uh, this baby is a foster child of ours, that we don't have any idea about his family history, his family medical history, if anything like that runs in his family, or at least at this time we don't know. Um, he's 10 months and we have not had any medical issues with him so far. So thank God, uh, uh, prayer requests were answered and he is fine. It's just got us thinking about how, how can we better prepare ourselves for a, uh, any kind of medical situation. So that's it. Thank you and we will uh, see you later.